May the 24th, Sunday, Backyard Farming, Florida. Done quite a bit of uh, work on the hydroponics and some updates on the uh, PVC uh, greenhouse. Also adding a uh, outside hydroponics. Going to move uh, some of the stuff from inside. You can also see the uh, earth bucket stuff. It's working pretty good. Earth box. Show you a little bit about the uh, initial construction. Uh, this is a little different, a little simpler on these uh, on this PVC that I'm using outside here. This is uh, half of the new outdoor hydroponic system that I'm putting together. <clears throat> you can see, I did this uh, four-inch drain pipe. It's actually sewer pipe, PVC. <clears throat> you can get a good look at... This is the uh, overflow tube. And I'm doing this one a little different. I'm putting both of the, the drain and the feed right in the dead center of uh, these two tubes that I'm going to put together, which will simplify plumbing dramatically. Let's give you a, a little close-up of O-ring uh, with a uh, half-inch to three-quarter inch bushing. And then I've just got a uh, threaded uh, three-quarter inch to PVC uh, coupling here. That'll be the overflow. I decided to go ahead and build uh, something uh, outside and this is a, a lot simpler approach uh, quite a bit less money I used uh, half inch steel electrical conduit just a little bit of wood uh, so I'm basically I've got two of these uh, 10 foot sections put together uh, gives me 20 feet. I've got 30 feet in here, but you notice that all the end caps, uh, the plumbing that's involved, quite a bit more expense. These little end caps are about five bucks each. And it makes it a little easier to level with uh, not the prettiest thing in the world here, but just see, I just clamp that on there, and of course the two uh, the pipes just slide together. They're designed to make a continuous stretch. I did put a little uh, RTV around there, and uh, to help it seal a little bit. Went with a little bit smaller container this time, uh, since I only had the two tubes. Very simple configuration. I've got the nutrients mixed up and uh, pretty much ready to go. So I'll probably move some plants around this afternoon. Outdoor garden uh, update on the tomatoes. Uh, see the several plants here. Uh, this is the one that dampened off, fell over. We just stuck it back down in the ground. Uh, doesn't have any uh, tomatoes on it yet, but should before long. Seems to be doing pretty well out here. Earth box uh, tomatoes are doing real good. Uh, the two in the middle are the ones I bought at Home Depot, and the two end ones, the big plants, are the original from seed. There's uh, tomatoes starting all over this one.
good hassle-free way to grow things. Uh, I'm seriously gonna gonna start looking into maybe growing some of the stuff in the garden this way. I'm gonna try to design up some kind of a long linear trough. In the hydroponic system, we've got jungle going back here and uh, you can see that uh, this front plant here which I call the benchmark plant this is a cherry tomato plant see the cherry tomatoes are starting all over various places here we've also got a regular plant back here also the uh, Jalapeno peppers are doing real well. And most of these other plants are just late starters. Uh, several different things in here. I can't really remember for sure what each one of them, where we got them from. And, but I'll be moving those outside. The other thing I wanted to point out is the um, condition of the plastic on this greenhouse. You can see this tear right here. Uh, quite a bit of patching going on here. The four mil uh, is just not going to make it here. This is uh, six months of use. Just uh, The observation I've made is that most of these tears will occur down these lines where the plastic was folded. But anyway, it's gotten very brittle and uh, very hard to work with to do anything with it.